The reason for this project comes from noticing that when doing facing cuts to get a nice flat end, the results end up cone shaped because the carriage is being pushed away from the cut. I actually did this part of the project ahead of time during the making of the upgraded carriage clamp while I already had everything apart. Definitely check out that video too if you haven't already. I decided to drill roughly a 10 millimeter hole in the carriage to match a stud I found that just happened to fit the old locking handle that came with the original tool post. The stud and locking handle are a M10 1.5 thread size and in this case the relatively coarse thread will be an advantage because the increased linear movement per revolution will decrease the amount of movement needed to lock the carriage. I thought making these studs would be a cool way to locate and center the carriage lock, but they ended up only being an excuse to use the lathe in this project and more or less useless for what I intended. Be sure to check out the video of the making of my retractable scribe holder too.
I had to turn down the diameter of the cap to be able to fit it next to the cross slide. It also had to be shortened so the compound slide could pass over it if needed. The final lock was assembled using green Loctite. All that was left was to assemble it in the carriage. The threads are such that it only requires a little more than a quarter of a turn to go from completely unlocked to fully locked. To see if this made a difference, I tried making a fresh facing cut on the 5 inch diameter aluminum from the large diameter video, and you can clearly see how rough the face surface was prior to making these lathe upgrades. And how smooth it is now. I'd say this was definitely a success. As always, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.